Thank you for meeting with me today. Could you start by telling us your name, your position, and your specialization? Yeah, so I'm Tusha Agampodi. Um, currently, I'm at TREAD. I'm their head of engineering. Um, and we're a software company, so uh, most of my work's uh, actually been in software. Can you tell us a little bit more about your current position and your academic background? Yeah, so I did computer systems engineering at Carleton. I did co-op at engineering, which was great. I highly recommend if you get an opportunity to do that, that you do it. Um, whether it's through the co-op stream or you could always find a position on your own as well, which is what I did. And then when I graduated, I joined that company. After that, the biggest uh, chunk of my career was at BlackBerry, actually. I worked at BlackBerry first as a software developer, and then I moved on to a team lead position and then an engineering leader. I switched from many projects, so it didn't, it never got boring, really. And then after BlackBerry, I joined uh, Magnet Forensics, which is also a software company. They were building a digital forensics software, and they hired me um, as their first hire in Ottawa. Um, to build an engineering team here, which was an incredible opportunity. So I did that for about four years and now I'm at TREAD. What would a typical day at work look like for you at your current position? As an engineering leader, a lot of my time is spent with my team. We start the day with our uh, stand-ups every morning. So there's three stand-ups that I have to attend. Um, and usually, you know, we talk about what are we working on that day. So the team team members would usually talk about you know, what did they work on yesterday? What are they going to work on today? And is there anything they're blocked on? And we kind of discuss it as a team. After that, I usually have a few meetings, probably specific to like upcoming features, sprinkled with some one-on-ones with my team members. Um, and hopefully I have a little bit of focus time, you know, to work on some like classes improvement or some like people leadership uh, type items as well. So that's a typical day. And what are the types of projects that you end up working on at your job as well? You know, we're building software that's used by um, folks who are running like big construction projects mm -hmm. where there's these trucks that could be moving materials. You know, there's a lot of material you have to move, um, a lot of coordination that happens. And so what we're doing is building a platform to um, just track all of that to help them optimize some of it. One of my team members called it like Uber for construction trucks, which is, yeah, um, which I thought was a funny term and now we use it all the time. But uh, so it's, it's always, you know, trying to solve those kinds of problems and projects is what I work on. And so what stood out to you about computer engineering or software engineering and what made you decide on pursuing that in particular? I took this computer science class in high school, which I honestly recommend everyone should take one because mm -hmm. software is everywhere now. You know, like it's it's in, in your fridge. It's in everything that we touch, so it's hard to avoid. So I think having some basic understanding of how it all works is great. There's going to be a lot of you, you know, especially young girls who might not even consider it, but if you try it, I think um, you'll find that there'll be a large number of you um, who might grow to love it, which is what happened to me. And it's super satisfying when you write you know, a few lines of code and the computer does something. And so what are three habits or skills that you find are necessary for a highly successful engineer? The ability to, to learn from your mistakes is really important. When you start up, start up at the beginning, you're going to make a ton of mistakes, you know? Um, so I think you show your growth, certainly to your leaders by, by showing, you know, how do you handle it when you make mistakes? How do you react? And then like, do you recover and learn from it? or do you keep making the same mistake over and over? So, you know, if you want to progress, um, being a quick learner is really important. Learning how to test your code is super important. So this is specific to software engineering, I know. And then learning how to um, write good code, like not overcomplicating things. The difference between school, you know, and the industry is that in school, you want to get like a perfect assignment so that you get an A plus. But in software, like you never have enough time to build the perfect thing. So you have to learn how to incrementally deliver what the customer needs. What has been the most valuable event um, that has happened over the course of your career? If you think of going into software, you think you're gonna be sitting at a desk like writing code all day. But I mean, you are writing a lot of code and that's satisfying, but there's a lot of human interaction. Like there's a lot of teamwork, mm -hmm. you know, and the great people you meet along the way, you know? So I would say the biggest one um, that had a significant impact on my career 
career actually was when I joined Magnet when I left BlackBerry because it was an incredible opportunity as a leader mm -hmm. uh, to get the chance to build a team from like the ground up. I was the first hire in Ottawa and they wanted to build an engineering team in Ottawa. And um, it was such a privilege and an opportunity. Like not every engineering leader gets the chance to build a team, but getting to build a team from the beginning is such an opportunity where you get to, like I got to focus and think about how do I want to build this team? You know, I knew building a diverse team was important to me. And so I had to sit and think about how am I going to do that? I had to learn a lot of lessons. Um, outside of engineering that was required to make that office successful. So I would say that that was definitely the most significant impact to my career. Did your goals or plans change during your studies or once you started your career? For me, I think the one that surprised me was the leadership path. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I didn't imagine that that's the path I would take, you know, as a developer early on. I didn't have this idea in my head that, oh, I want to go into engineering leadership. I had some leaders who encouraged that, hey, you know, um, you show great potential. Perhaps you want to try for this team lead position, um, So, which is what I did, and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, after that, I didn't look back. Building off of that, why is it so important for leadership and engineering to include more diverse perspectives? Well, you can't have a diverse team and support them if, if that team's not reflected in the in the leadership who makes all the decisions. Um, and I think diverse perspectives are just, just key when it comes to innovation or in terms of recruiting a, a diverse team and supporting them, creating an inclusive environment. Um, all of that starts with certainly like first level managers and all the way to the C-suite. If you could give one piece of advice to your student self, what would it be? Take more risks. It took me a long time to get comfortable with failure, just the the possibility of failure, not even failure itself, just the possibility of it, you know, often held me back. I was comfortable trying things that I knew I was good at, but mm -hmm. I was less comfortable trying things um, that I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, like, how would I do? But in hindsight, I should have perhaps taken a little more risk. Just to wrap up, what is your favorite part about being an engineer? One of the best things my engineering degree gave me early on in my career was um, confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, like there were times, especially being a woman in tech, there were times when I would be in a room and there were no other women in the room. During those times, I think having my degree really gave me a bit of confidence because I could tell myself like, hey, you know, you went to school like the rest of the people in this room and you were in this degree like the rest of the people in this room. So mm -hmm. you have every right to be there. You know, you have every right to share your opinion. I found engineering taught me how to learn, which is so important in mm -hmm. so many aspects of life. Um, yeah, and I use it all the time, especially like software changes all the time. Uh, so just being able to adapt quickly and learn is the key.